Hello and welcome back to First History Channel for another history lesson. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed our video and want to watch more interesting history lessons. Today, we want to introduce you to another piece of forgotten history that had a major impact on world history. The Battles of Cock and Goal. A game changer of the course of World War II. In August 1939, just weeks before Hitler and Joseph Stalin invaded Poland, the Soviet Union and Japan fought a massive tank battle at Cock and Goal on the Mongolian border. It was the largest armored battle in the world up to that point and would play a major role in the future development of World War II as it gave the Soviets a moral upper hand in the event of a future conflict. Cock and Goal dramatically changed the course of World War II and history. Haunted by their crushing defeat, the Japanese scrapped their plans to annex the Russian Far East and Siberia. Instead, they decided it would be easier to expand into the Pacific and Southeast Asia. The result, Pearl Harbor and the Japanese invasion of Europe's Asian colonies. Being Pacific powers, Russia and Japan had been rivals for decades. In the Russo-Japanese War of 1905, Japan sunk an entire Russian fleet that had rashly sailed around the world from the Baltic Sea. Japan had also occupied Vladivostok during the Russian Civil War. But by the 1930s Russia was resurgent. The Imperial General Staff in Tokyo was particularly concerned about the threat Soviet submarines posed to Japanese shipping, and the possibility that Soviet bombers based in Vladivostok would be able to strike the Japanese hinterlands. Japan had two strategic options. The North Strike Group of generals within the Japanese army wanted to seize Siberia as far as Lake Baikal for its resources. The South Strike Group, supported by the Japanese Navy, sought out the rich lands of Southeast Asia, which were under the shaky rule of exhausted European powers such as Britain, the Netherlands, and France. Striking in China and Mongolia Resurgent In 1937 the Japanese convinced that Joseph Stalin's purge of 1935-37 had crippled the Soviet officer corps, rolled into China. The country was in the midst of a civil war and didn't really put up a fight. The invasion forces quickly seized Shanghai and Nanking, where they killed millions of Chinese civilians. The Russians fearing encirclement by Japan and Germany acted quickly. They concluded a treaty with China, furnishing financial and military aid, 450 pilots and technicians and 225 warplanes were sent to China in 1937. Cock and Goal, Enter Zhukov But the real high-stakes game was about to unfold on the Mongolian steppes. During July and August 1938, Japan and Russia repeatedly clashed at the borders between Mongolia, a Soviet ally, and Manchuria. After bitter air and land battles, the Japanese finally decided on a full-on clash. They chose a remote area on the Kokongol, the river between Mongolia and Manchuria. In May 1939 the Japanese occupied the area around the village of Nomonan, hoping to challenge Russia. The Japanese army was confident their attack force would strike the enemy, like a butcher's cleaver dismembering a chicken. The command of the Soviet forces went to a relatively unknown general who had escaped Stalin's bloody purges through sheer chance. This was 42-year-old Corps Commander Georgi Zhukov. By mid-August, Zhukov had amassed 50,000 troops, 216 artillery pieces, and 498 armored vehicles including tanks. Air support was provided by 581 planes. At 5 a.m. on August 20, 1939, Zhukov struck. It started with 200 Soviet bombers pounding the Japanese positions. 
When the bombers withdrew, a massive artillery barrage began that lasted nearly three hours. Meanwhile, the planes returned for a second bombing run. Finally, Zhukov ordered the artillery to launch a 15-minute barrage at the Japanese troop concentrations. The Japanese huddled in their trenches under the heaviest bombardment to which they or any other Japanese unit had ever been subjected, writes Stuart D. Goldman in Nomonan, 1939, the Red Army's victory that shaped World War II. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you like the video. Artillery came pouring in at 2 to 3 rounds per second. Earth and sky throbbed. With their own artillery knocked out, the Japanese were defenseless against the flamethrowing tanks, which a Japanese officer saw, spitting red darts like the tongues of snakes. A Japanese artillery commander described the bombardment as reverberating like the gongs of hell. The effect, physically and psychologically, was shattering. The denouement came when shell-shocked Japanese soldiers ran out of water and in their desperation drank the foul liquid from the radiators of their military vehicles, thereby immobilizing the vehicles. What followed was a combined assault. Soviet infantry attacked the Japanese center and armor encircled the Japanese flanks. By the 11th day of the battle, the Japanese force was decimated and surrounded. A few Japanese units managed to break out of the encirclement, but those that remained were finished off by air and artillery attacks. On September 16 the undeclared war was declared over. Significance The Battle of Kokengol was significant for several reasons. First, it marked a significant victory for the Soviet Union which had been struggling to modernize its military in the years leading up to World War II. Zhukov's success in Kokengol helped to establish him as a key figure in the Soviet military, and he would go on to play a crucial role in the Eastern Front of World War II. Second, the battle had significant implications for the ongoing conflict between the Soviet Union and Japan. The defeat at Kokengol convinced the Japanese that they were not prepared for a larger conflict with the Soviet Union, and they shifted their focus to their southern expansion in the Pacific. This allowed the Soviet Union to turn its attention to its western borders and its ongoing conflict with Nazi Germany. Finally, the Battle of Kokengol had broader implications for the course of World War II. The Soviet Union's victory in the battle helped to deter further Japanese aggression in the region which allowed the Soviet Union to focus its military resources on the conflict with Germany. This, in turn, helped to ensure the survival of the Soviet Union and its eventual victory in the war. Conclusion The Battle of Kokengol was a significant military confrontation that had far-reaching implications for the course of World War II. The Soviet Union's victory in the battle helped to establish it as a military power and deter further Japanese aggression in the region. Additionally, the battle helped to set the stage for the Soviet Union's eventual victory over Nazi Germany. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the Battle of Kokengol. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more historical content.